Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. Let's talk about how to get amazing skin today and also how to get rid of acne. And they really are two separate things, but obviously, obviously when you combine them, you're gonna get even better results. So let's start with the first thing. The first thing is I wanna share with you guys actually that I, I literally discovered this by accident. I actually tried to improve my health when I was really ill and my skin ended up getting so much better. I used to have a major acne problem, not only on my face, I had on my back and even in my chest and it was really quite embarrassing and I went to dermatologists you know different doctors different medications Chinese herbalists I was trying everything and nothing was working and it just surprised me because obviously they're supposed to be educated in the field and they couldn't fix it and then simple little guy like me ends up figuring it out by accident so I got to share with you guys ultimately what cleared up my skin and also because I keep getting a lot of emails and people can just consistently keep asking me what I do for my skin even people that I meet which I find really surprising and even quite flattering because I've always thought of myself as having bad skin. So here we go, I'll just tell you guys what I do. The first thing is you have to avoid all heated oils, which means you can't pan fry food, don't stir fry food, don't deep fry food, nothing fried or nothing with heated oils. It doesn't matter what kind of oil you use. I don't care if it's coconut oil, uh, olive oil, canola, it just doesn't matter. If I consume anything like that, I immediately will break out with acne. I also don't recommend eating any food that not only has heated oil, but you wanna look at ingredients. So like, for example, even something like a cone for ice cream, those little cones have heated oil. You have to look at the ingredients in things because if you see palm oil, canola oil, any of these type of oils, any oil really is not a good thing. So you wanna avoid those type of uh, oils basically and the other thing you really want to avoid is you know you don't want to have any processed food you don't want dairy you don't even want meat you don't want any of this stuff either if you're gonna eat something like meat don't don't fix it on the grill or anything you're gonna want to cook it like in water so you're gonna want to boil it but I recommend just staying away from that also because if you really want to take it a really big step further you even want to go as far as like colon cleansing so you want to clean out the colon before you really start going what I would call a plant-based diet I wouldn't necessarily call it vegan or vegetarian just because there's a lot of junk food out there that you could consume and consider yourself vegan or vegetarian. So I really eat mostly raw foods, a lot of vegetables, lots of fruits, and then I'll have like small portions of like steamed rice, for example. Sometimes I'll have some soups, stuff like that. And th that's pretty much it in regards to the diet aspect of it. The other thing that's a really powerful tool is hydrogen water. Because hydrogen water, so you want your food to have antioxidants. That's something that's gonna help. Same thing with your water. If you drink water that is a hydrogen water, and of course, you have to make sure how to make it properly. If you guys haven't seen my other videos before, check out those other ones, because I don't wanna use water that's obviously electrolyzed. I wanna use it internally, and it has to be clean water. I don't care about the pH. I care about how clean it is. I don't want a machine either that, that changes the pH of the water. I just want it to be pH neutral. So that way you're getting a lot of good antioxidants by ingesting this type of water. The other thing I can do is with that same type of water, I can fill a bowl and put my face in it. I'll hold my breath, put my face in it. I'll take hydrogen ice cubes. If you don't know how to make those either, go ahead and check out how to make hydrogen ice cubes. That's another one of my videos. And so I like the water to actually be pretty cold. So every, all the capillaries and everything really close up oxygenate the skin and then you can have all this hydrogen going in uh, right through your pores right into your skin and obviously that's going to help combat like any free radical damage you know on the skin it's also going to help protect you from like skin cancer some interesting research about that there was research done on humans where it was showing to get rid of wrinkles it's going to help with elasticity it's going to help with collagen hydrogen is amazing guys both internally and externally and you have to remember one thing i recommend to people you know don't focus so much on like some people will just be obsessed and be like i just want to lose weight that's all i want to do or i just want uh, beautiful skin and i'm going to do everything for that or whatever you know what i focus on is i actually just focus on good health so i eat the right type of things i recommend going like for example to the sauna too the sauna will open up the pores and push stuff out of the pores all the garbage you know and detox and even your sweat is like antibacterial to your skin it's just really good so i focus on all the things health and then all the wonderful benefits just kind of come with it you're going to lose the weight your skin's going to look better you're going to feel better everything is just really going to improve if you just focus on this one thing and that's my recommendation you know and and it's funny because people have also asked me about these little bottles where you spray like hydrogen water on your face 
I'm not really into that either because you know, you're spraying it. I don't think you're gonna be getting as much hydrogen on your skin as if you're putting your whole face in this water. That's what I personally recommend. I mean, you can do the spray bottles. It's not what I recommend. I don't really think it's gonna work that well in my opinion, or even splashing it on your face. You can try that too. Maybe even get like something like a cloth and really wet it with hydrogen water and put it on your face. You can try those things, but I definitely would just put my whole face in the hydrogen water. A lot of people have asked me about hydrogen baths and that's really great too. The problem is, is that the machines, they really don't make that much hydrogen. So that's kind of difficult. And so I don't necessarily recommend that either. I just go to the sauna and use the hydrogen just for the face. So that's my recommendation. In fact, I even have a funny story about when I was at the sauna because when you're in the sauna, you know, I don't wear any clothing when I go into the sauna. And there's the gentleman in there that I see regularly and he was, he actually asked me after seeing me many times, he said, you know, I just gotta tell you, he said, your skin looks amazing. Do you do something for that? Or maybe it's just because you're young, you know, you're, you're just young and you're probably lucky. And I was telling him, I said, honestly, I had absolutely terrible skin and I made some changes in my life and it significantly improved. In fact, my acne all went away if you want to, you know, get rid of the acne, it's as simple as, like I said, just changing the way you're eating. But then if you want even nicer skin, you know, the diet and the magic water, as I would maybe call it, you know, the hydrogen water really significantly improved the condition of my skin and a lot of other things too. Because he was mentioning to me, apparently he's a doctor, and he was saying, you know, I always observe people's skin because the skin is the largest organ of the human body. And it really says a lot about what's going on internally and your health and overall where it's going to be in the future also. And he said, so I had just noticed it and I was kind of curious, you know, what had you had been doing. But again, he's like, but you're also young, you're, you know, you're lucky and all these type of things. And of course, as we kept talking and I mentioned to him hydrogen and I mentioned to him the things that I was doing in regards to my diet. And after talking for a while, I don't like to talk about my age, but he kept asking and it turned out that I was actually older than he was, which just completely shocked him because he, he, he just, he was really shocked by it. And then he really got into, he's like, okay, I gotta change the way I eat. I gotta look into this hydrogen water stuff. And he's even contacted me after the fact and has told me this hydrogen stuff's amazing. I can't believe I've never heard of it. Here I am working in the medical field and I've never even heard of hydrogen before. And so he was really excited, really grateful to have met me. And it was really kind of fun to meet him too. And, and so that was cool. And so I just wanted to share this information with you guys. I really hope that you guys found it helpful. And again, if you really want to even take it to another level, like I was mentioning before, any detoxification that you can do, but you know, you don't really have to go that extreme. You can really just do something as changing your diet, start drinking some really good clean hydrogen water. And by the way, I do have one quick thing I want to update. When you are putting your face in the hydrogen water, make sure that that water is clean water. You don't want to use tap water with the chlorines. You don't want to do that. I recommend either a filtered water or distilled water. After you use it for a while, of course, you're probably going to want to dump it. Or you know what? I would recommend giving it to your plants if you want to do something like that. Or even to your pets, I think that would be okay. But I personally wouldn't drink it after having my face in it. So that's it guys. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you really like the channel and you want to support it somehow, I'll put some information down below. So if you guys like the channel and you just want to support it, then you can do that. And I'm still planning a trip to Japan. I really want to go there and bring you guys a lot of information, not only about hydrogen, but a lot of things, health. They know a lot about health over there, things that we have never thought of here. I really want to bring a lot of this information and also make just cool videos in Japan that you guys would enjoy. So if you want to support that journey, again, the information's below. Also, and that's it guys. Thanks for watching. I really hope you liked the video. I'll see you guys next time on the next one.